VCV Rack is a virtual modular synthesis interface that's free and has hella modules that you can use. To install it, head over to vcvrack.com forward slash rack hashtag get and download it for your operating system. While we're here, also make an account at vcvrack.com forward slash login. We'll use this account later to download free modules from the library. Once you've done that, follow the prompts for your download and install it and open it up. When you first open VCV Rack, it's going to look like this. Box select all this garbage by clicking and dragging from an empty space and deleting it by pressing backspace. Now we have a fresh, empty patch. In the top left corner, we have several options available to us. Firstly, let's click on Library and log into our account. Then let's click on the View dropdown. We can change the theme here and various other aspects of our workspace. We'll revisit this section later. Lastly, I'm going to show you the Engine dropdown. If you're experiencing performance issues or you want to optimize your performance for your hardware, you may want to alter these settings, but in my experience, these don't need to be changed from the default settings. This big open space in the middle is where all the modules go. We're going to bring in the most important module, which is called the audio module. This sucker allows you to hear the wonderful sounds that your other modules make. Without it, you won't hear a damn thing, and your other modules won't even function properly. So bring up the module explorer by right-clicking in an empty space, or by pressing enter, and type the word audio. We're going to see these three come to the top. For now, we'll select the smallest one by clicking on it. Then we're going to find our output device by clicking the drop-down and selecting it from this list. Mine's headphones. Now the audio module is all set. Remember, your other modules aren't going to function properly until your output device is selected in this drop-down, so make sure you do that. By default, we have access to all of the stock modules in the Module Explorer. If you want to get more modules, go either to the VCVRack library page at library.vcvrack.com or to the plugins page at library.vcvrack.com forward slash plugins. At the library page, you can add one module at a time by clicking the Add button like this. And this is a really good way to go through and just pick the modules you love. At the plugins page, you can download entire collections by either subscribing or clicking Add All. The benefit to subscribing is that you receive updates and new modules automatically from these developers. You may want to hold off on downloading all of the modules. In some cases, downloading every module can be overwhelming, especially because there's thousands of them. So if you're just getting started, you might want to just select a few that you think look cool. Or hit randomize like this and download the first 10. Or just download all of them. Hell, that's what I did. Once you've downloaded all the modules you could ever dream of, go back to the VCV Rack application, and you'll see this little red dot here on the library dropdown. Click on that, let it think for a second, and then click Update All. We're going to be prompted to close our VCV Rack, and when we reopen it, we'll have access to all of the new modules just like that. Easy peasy. In the next video, we're talking about cabling, which includes how to use cables, cable color coding, keyboard shortcuts, and cable tricks. Thanks for checking out this video. All of my supplemental content is available for free on my Ko-fi page. My VCV Rack cheat sheet has a walkthrough of this information as well, if you're someone who likes reading. Shout out to all my Ko-fi supporters. Okay, bye-bye.